What is going on guys? Pat out in the shop. Uh, today I want to talk about um, the water pump bypass and how some Vortec blocks don't have it uh, and how Vortec water pumps don't have the traditional bypass. And first off let's talk about what a water pump bypass is. Uh, a water pump bypass is a small passage that allows water uh, or coolant per se uh, to flow from the water pump through the block when the thermostat is closed. This is important uh, because you, it helps with pump cavitation, uh, it helps with any kind of localized or like hot spots in the heads or um, air trapped, it kind of helps with that uh, in the cooling system. So yeah, it is important and it's something you need to know is especially if you're putting Vortec heads on an old school block or you're putting um, you know, an old school water pump with Vortec heads and you're, you don't have that bypass hose from the water pump to the intake. And I'll explain that all in a second. But we have three different small blocks here. There's an old school two piece, an 880 block and then another 880 block, but they're all kind of different in, uh, in a certain way and I'll show you that in a second. So on your traditional small block Chevy, there's a little hole under where the water pump bolts up. It's a block block so it's kind of hard to see but there's a hole here uh, this side of the block it just bolts up but this side there's the two threaded bolt holes and then there's a hole underneath what that is is a bypass this so the I'll middle block here this is a late model Vortec block uh, 880 block uh, really late of this in the series uh, this one you can see is not drilled shown in my other video the timing cover is not drilled for the extra bolt holes and there's no hole um, for the water pump bypass so you can see any of the vortex they didn't use the bypass they used a hose from the water pump to the intake manifold and I'll show you I have a water pump here from a Vortec and I'll show you exactly what I mean. There was a hose that went from the intake manifold to the actual water pump like on a big block Chevy if you're familiar with those. Uh, it's the same thing it allows water to bypass. And then finally this third block is also a late 880 block but not as late as the other one. It's not drilled for a fuel pump uh, but it is drilled for the extra timing uh, cover bolts and it has the water pump bypass. Uh, so where the water pump bypass actually goes, some people uh, are kind of confused by this, it actually goes through the block and then up on an angle and comes out through this hole right here into the cylinder head. So it comes into the passenger cylinder head from the water pump, bypasses the thermostat so there's actually a constant flow of coolant. So I put a head gasket on here to, to show you um, what hole is which here. So this is a head bolt hole and then this hole right here is actually where uh, the coolant comes up into the head. If you're using a set of Vortec heads they don't have this hole drilled in the head and I have two heads here and I'll show you in a second. One is a Vortec and one is an old school uh, small block head. Uh, and it's drilled for that, but the Vortec is not. So if you're running one of these blocks that's drilled for it, you're not gonna have any issues because the cylinder head will actually block off this hole. The issue kind of becomes if you have a, a Vortec uh, style water pump and then you put a head on there that has this coolant hole, the, the, the Vortec water pump doesn't block this off, so uh, coolant will just start pouring out of this hole. So here's a Vortec water pump. And as you can see, both sides are exactly the same. The, the, the Vortec water pump doesn't have that bypass on the actual pump. The bypass is done up here, which a hose goes to the intake manifold. And I'll show you on another block, uh, often the Vortec intakes will have that port in the front if you're using a Vortec water pump to allow the bypass. So here's an example of a Edelbrock air gap intake, Vortec intake. This is uh, a 383 stroker with Edelbrock E-Tech 200 aluminum cylinder heads. Uh, and then here is the provision on this intake for running the bypass if you were running a Vortec style water pump. And then here we got the 906 Vortec head. Uh, as you can see, there's the head bolt. And you can actually kind of see where the head gasket left a mark of where the bypass hole would be. Throw this on there so you can see. So there's the, the head bolt hole, and then that's where the bypass hole would be. So this head would block off that hole 
uh, on the block if you had um, if you had the whole drill in your block from the bypass. So that's really important to know if you're putting uh, Vortec heads on an old school block because you're eliminating the bypass from the water pump uh, to the head. So this will block off that port, making the bypass uh, in the water pump pointless. So here is an example of a sad looking uh, small block Chevy head off a motor I got. Uh, this thing was seized as you can tell going on here. But I just wanted to show you, uh, here's an example of a head that has the bypass. Any of the, any of the old school uh, heads and a lot of the aftermarket heads will have this bypass hole. So as you can see again with the head gasket, there's the head bolt hole and then right there is the bypass hole. The, the Vortec heads don't have. You so check out this beauty I got. Um, this is a 880 block, but it was it was like a um, like a crate motor I got off a guy. A uh, guy I built a motor for. He called me, real good guy. He said, "Hey, I got this motor in my shop. You might want it. Uh, it's got di Dart Iron Eagles on there, 180s. So it's got some good heads. But I noticed right away that they have this port blocked off. So this head probably has." Uh, these I would imagine these dart uh, iron eagles are drilled for the um, bypass in the head But just in case someone was going to use this in a vortex uh, style water pump on here that they plugged the bypass hole uh, You don't see that too often, but some guys will drill and tap those or in this case um, Just put in like a like a plug a tap and plug so here's a little sneak peek of my small block Chevy that's going in my car this is going to be a turbo small block Chevy 383 stroker uh, profiler heads uh, roller cam the whole nine yards but I just wanted to show you on this um, what happens with uh, not having a bypass so if you're putting uh, your vortex heads on your old school block which would normally have that bypass and now your vortex heads are blocking it off what you can do is just drill some holes in your thermostat. Uh, it sounds kind of crazy, but it works really well. Um, what happens is you're not only letting a flow of coolant constantly go through the motor, um, which you might not have an issue, but it's good, especially with Vortec heads because they're prone to crack cracking, is to keep um, a constant flow of coolant. and not let that coolant temperature fluctuate as a cool, the thermostat opens and closes. So four to six uh, 530 second holes in your thermostat will cause a nice constant flow of coolant, but what it also does is stops any trapped air from under your thermostat. So uh, if you've been doing hot rodding stuff and engine, for, engine stuff for a while, uh, if you've ever done a new engine or a coolant system service, and you go to you know bleed the coolant and the thermostat just won't pop and the temperature's going up and up what ha what that actually is is you have a pocket of air stuck under your thermostat if you do the holes um, the bleed holes in your thermostat you will never have that it'll it'll bleed off really easily you'll have no issues um, with coolant temperature getting out of hand something i highly recommend i've been doing it for a couple years now and it really works it really works well um, it's actually something I prefer over having the bypass for the reason that you don't have to worry about air getting trapped. You can actually have both, so any small block. If you have the bypass, I wouldn't do like six holes. You could do like you know, three or four in the thermostat, uh, but if you don't have the bypass, minimum four, but up to six, uh, depending on you know if you're driving this thing uh, into the colder weather, hotter climates do six because you'll find it, you know, it'll, it'll heat up really slow. There you go guys, there's a little better shot of my uh, 383 small block Chevy turbo build that I'm doing, it's gonna be a single turbo, uh, but I'll talk more about that in an upcoming video. Uh, hopefully this video sheds some light on the um, water pump bypass and the purpose of that, and if you're switching to Vortec heads, the issues you're gonna run into if you don't have that bypass anymore, and the easy fix of just drilling the thermostat, and that will take care of uh, any weird um, air bubbles or not having that bypass and stuff so that'll fix any of those issues it works it works well for such a simple fix and then you don't have that hose you know in between the water pump and the and the intake so there you go guys uh, please like and subscribe I put videos out every week